How's it going, boys? As you can see, right under me, we only have one land, and that is a swamp. But this is not a problem. In fact, this is very good, and it's gonna win us the game. Because we are gonna be playing the Bolas Citadel Infinity Combo. Well, it's not actually Infinity Combo, it's how many cards we have in the deck type of combo, but it almost always gets the job done. And the idea is simple. We have this, and we have, well, flip lands, which wizards does not count as lands for some strange and interesting reason. So we have all of this. And the trick here is, with Bolas Citadel, you can play the cards from the top of your deck. And typically that means one problem. Lands are annoying. But with this, lands suddenly are no longer a problem because you can just play them as a, as a flip card and instantaneously value. And through things like either Flux Reservoir, Bastion, the Innkeeper, and Blood Artist, we are gonna hopefully survive. Because we can actually break, but hopefully that does not happen. Then we have a little bit of Ramp, Greedy, Freebooters, Elves, Paradiso Druids, and a Bow Strider, just so we can scry away the pain. We can win it either either Flux Reservoir Blast or a Bastion of Remembrance plus Blood Artist take damage, which is actually super effective and fast typically. And a Witch Claw Talisman, because why not, honestly. And well, with that being said, you already know, one land, and, well, let's just get a Kraken and see oh, what's gonna happen, because it's gonna be probably pretty fun. Hopefully we don't brick, but I don't think we're gonna. Okay, again, kind of, kind of hopeful. In testing, everything seemed fine, but, again, things may change, but hopefully they won't, because, you know, you gotta get lucky sometimes, you know what I'm saying? In any case, Andre Pendragon. Ah, Pendragon, eh? One land, two lands, and ramp, and a bunch of Aetherflux Reservoirs. Wowie woo -wah. Ah, that is definitely something. Okay. I like this start, not gonna lie. Cat on purple for extra luck. And let's just start off with the bonsai. Well, this is not a bonsai, but you know, close enough. It's a Hedron. Okay, what is our opponent playing? Colorless. Okay, that means we have time. Okay, that is effectively good. Can play this tapped. And next turn, I can drop the Paradisio Druid and Neither Flux Reservoir. Oh my. Well, that is peculiar to say the to say the least, honestly. Okay, do we Witch Claw Talisman at this point? Very interesting. I think I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this just to check the wall. No counterspell. Mamma mia. Okay. Okay. Boys, listen. This could be amazing. Or we could absolutely get crushed like there's no tomorrow. Guy is blessing. Very blessing. Okay, do this. We can only activate during our turns, which is annoying, but fine. There are no counter spells, or he's really fast at clicking. <laughs> Maybe he's really fast at clicking, I'm not 100% sure. But in any case, he also has only the fortress here, so he can't really counter spell. Is he a land? <gasps> he's land start! Oh no, the horror. In any case, oh wait, I'm missing. Oh, this is not good, boyos. We're missing one black land. We got all the green in the world, but we don't have the black. Oh, that is... Okay, there is a chance that he actually can bring it back. Admittedly, I have done a decent amount of damage, so maybe he's not bringing it back. Well, I'm gonna get... I could go for... No, even going for the basic black land is not gonna be good enough here. Hmm. By the way, this is why we use Paradisio Druids instead of just 8 land war elves. You know, the other one cost elf that exists. Because, yeah, breaking is actually not that hard sometimes. In any case, if he does something here, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get full, uh, full send damage. Oh my. Okay, okay, listen. Ha ha ha! 
Ah, okay, now he counterspells. Yeah, so our friend is definitely counterspell, counterspell galore, huh? Well, that is fine. That is fine. I am just gonna pick a Hagramaling. And, well, we kind of need to hope for the best here, boys. He needs to, at some point, do something to, you know, counter us a little bit. So, at that point, maybe we get to play the land. Not the land, but the ball citadel. I hope he doesn't rat here. Again, all of this is currently going to be decided by a single thread of fate. Deep, I know. Thank you. Well, he has cotton. So this is a land destruction deck, by the way. Which is problematic. I need him to do something, but hopefully not Vrat. Because I need that Paradiso Druid. But the first comes to happen, I can just, you know, push his face and... He must ha Again, he must have a counter spell, so... Oh my, he does not? No, he did. He 100% he did. If he settled on wreckages... He did! Giga Chad. Absolutely Giga Chad, not gonna lie, boys. Uh, but that is fine by me, because that is 6 mana anyway. And now I can say good game, and he will do something... That still works out. That's... Wait, no! But no, 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 we, we still, we, we still got this, we, we still absolutely, uh, got this, tap, play it, tap, play a three booty, okay, Hagramal, oh my god, Prosperous Innkeeper, ah, oh, Blood Artist, they actually, this is a win, ah, oh, another Blood Artist, boys, look at, ah, oh. ah, oh, we win so hard, oh no, and another Prosperous, mm. oh man, Oh man, I can actually also uh, do the Citadel uh, sack because this can deal uh, 10 damage, by the way. 10, 10 non land permanents sacked and back, then, you know, everything's fine in the world. Anyway, scry that away. Oh man, we got so lucky. This is insane. Okay, are we finishing him off with the Bolas Blastos? I think we are. I, I think we are. Uh, I'm gonna sack one elephant because there's a reason they're extinct. And I must uphold these. Oh, he's... Aww. He went bye-bye before the Citadel sack. Well, admittedly, the Blood Artist would also trigger, so... It's kind of all fine, but man. You see that? Admittedly, that was chink as it comes, but... Man, that was good. Okay, okay. And that's kind of the idea. Now, admittedly, you can make this deck also in other ways. You can uh, make it with things that enter the battlefield and deal damage to your opponent and heal you. You can do this with Explore. Yes, the mechanic that no one remembers. Even though I'm actually a fan of Explore. Explore is a really fun mechanic in my opinion. Anyway, this this uh, this hand. Amazing. 10 out of 10. So, what now? Hopefully he's not red. Imagine him playing red, by the way. That's that's pretty much an instant concede, almost. <laughs> oh, but let's hope it's not. Strange Avatar. The verse... The verse student? Eh, he's playing blue. That makes me feel awkward inside. Well, whatever. What are we thinking, boys? What are we thinking? Is that waifu material or is that no get away from me you wench? I do not wish to be horny. I wish to be loved. W what's going to be the choice here? Not sure, but let's find out. It's probably going to be come here. Two lands again. Oh, oh my. Another extremely unlucky play by our opponent. How sad. Oh, and he has nothing there. Well, might as well attack. So, what are we actually looking for here? Well, we are looking for any land. Hopefully not a tap land, though. Because the Citadel is here, and our opponents are also there. Okay, do that. Pretty cool. Uh, no, can't play the... Well, I can't play the elf, but playing the Citadel. Muchos more importantos. In any case, stuck on two lands yet again. Ah. Oh! Ah! 
this is what happens when you uh, log in, lose 10 games in a row instantaneously, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's just how this happens. In any case, I, I, I said nothing, and you heard nothing. It's beautiful in any case. Let's attack with the Vos Strider, because at this, uh, this point, I mean, our guy's just cooked. <laughs> and some people are looking at this and saying, Oh my god, look at this guy, he's so unbelievably lucky. Yes. Yes. Actually, I need to uh, have a card at the top that I don't care about. I guess this is fine, though. In any case, the moment we drop the Citadel, it, it all... Ooh. Lorien revealed. The hell is this? Hello, sorcery. Oh. Oh. Wait, rest in, rest in pieces? Oh, no. Do I care? I actually kind of slightly care, I guess. But, you know, I, I, I think it's probably good. Do I wanna? No. Oh, wait, I can't actually play it otherwise. Okay, boys, listen. This is where the men... Uh... I mean, just why not? <laughs> I misclicked also, not gonna lie. I actually misclicked on that. But in any case, ooh, Prosperous Innkeeper, let's go. Ooh, a Hedron, a Gidron, that's fine. So, by the way, why does this also... Yeah, that's bad. Oh, he conceded. Well, look at how good I am with my opponents. Ah, the land stopped. So, you're telling me, Wizards, by the way, considering now we're seeing this. All I need to do is... Queue up 10 games real fast, play one land and abandon, because that's when they actually count it as a real abandon, because they are taking a little bit of precaution against people who are abusing the system like this, which it's their own fault, because everyone knows this game is extremely rigged at this point. It's... Uh, everyone knows at this point, okay? It's, it's not even a debate. I'm just saying something that everyone already understands. And considering stuff like that is happening, yeah, they, they are taking uh, they, they are taking measures. But don't worry, it's all fine. It's the same reason why you can't actually report uh, anyone in game for BMing, because then everyone will report ev uh, everyone else for BMing. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's that's so sad, isn't it? Honestly, in any case, pretty good. I'm gonna save this. Ooh! Let's see if he get, gets the full combi wombi right there off the bat. And he does. Well, almost. This is... Uh, since we, we know what that is, it's, you know, it's not looking good essays. It is not looking good essays. Gonna drop uh, this first, because there's a reason for that, by the way. Because the Prosperous Innkeeper uh, is instantaneously ramped, because he creates a treasure chest, and it's not tapped. You may collect evidence then and rather pay the mana cost of a spell. Not bad, not bad. Oh, by the way, this card? Yeah. Yeah, I am looking into it. Because this is a two-cost insanity. Because, think about this. The Sphinx is not legendary. That's right. You can, you can literally have a turn one, a turn two a full reanimator combo. It is insane. Can he actually collect the evidence? Can he play anything? Oh, seven. Yeah, he has. Let's see if he does, though. Oh, boy. By the way, it's always the sphinxes that are ruining everyone's lives. Oh, man. We just got turn two emergent ultimatum. Uh, let's see if he has the full combo wombo. The best emergent ultimatum is still... Uh, Om Science? Plus Vorenslix, plus uh, Liliana. Let's see what he has. I mean, this is pretty much the same thing, honestly. And... Yeah, sure, why honestly not? The multi... With, the, the, those are, wait, this is actually a pretty decently made deck, because this can't miss with Breach the Multiverse. Admittedly, I don't know how many cards he actually has to do things, but uh, let's see. He is, again, collecting the evidence. What did he mill for me? One Aetherflux Reservoir and one Ball Citadel. 
Well, we do have the reservoirs for days. Wait. Oh! Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. How does this even work? He used... Wait, wait, wait. How does he has have two of these out? I'm slightly confused, not gonna lie. Well, in any case, it's not over until the fat lady sings. And she's typically eating. So, we have a lot of chances. And I'm pretty sure we can... Wait, no, this is actually exactly lethal. <laughs> Oh no, I'm surviving with 1 HP, boys. High five! We're doing it, boys. We are absolutely doing it. Okay, let's put the cat on purple. And by the way, this is jank, so Wizards is putting us against other jank. But admittedly putting us against someone who... Has a turn 2 infinity... Has a turn 2 infinity mana combo. A little bit drastic, not gonna lie. But it's good enough. Faithless looting... Oh, wait, no. I think he should just get himself another turn and call it a day, honestly. A little bit... I, I like the emergent ultimatum usage, but... I feel he kind of bricked on... Uh, I definitely feel that he kind of bricked uh, on that one. Because he didn't get it. He doesn't have anything in hand that actually is worthwhile, right? Uh, he got nothing again, I think. Mizzet's Master? Oh no, he got Mizzet's Mastery. Okay, okay. So, he can play Mizzet's Mastery. He can, uh, he can then play the Epiphany, and we just lose. Or he can just do another Emergent Ultimatum, or Breach the Multiverse, or something. Okay, he's doing that. Uh, good game. And he wins. Interesting combo. Definitely an interesting combo. Man, Wizards, you see, this is why you need to make people have no lands against me but no again to back to the slightly previous point that i made man the fact that i had to just lose 10 games in a row to get to the point where wizards is putting me up against people who brick on lands and are stuck on two kind of insane considering that's me half of the time stuck on two lands and hoping for the best when only the worst comes. Mm, I'm not liking these options. Lotus goes first. Is this an S tier deck? Blue. Ooh. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm definitely paying the life uh, life cost here. Do I do the bow strider? No. I probably just live my life here, huh? Oh, 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 okay, got it. I got so confused because I didn't know what this what the soft is. Okay, okay, very cool, very cool. Okay, that's a pretty big and popping off uh, turn uh, turn two, honestly. Fatal push. Oh, I'm so cooked, boys. Hoo wee! Yeah, we are definitely uh, we're as cooked as it gets here, I think. Well, let's just drop this. He could be super slow with dealing with us. Oh, he has another ninjutsu. Mm. Oh, another one, Jesus. Uh, at this point, I'm not gonna have enough. Oh my, dude. And even he has the rat. Okay, so I don't think we, yes. I, I think it's statistically impossible that we even survive this. He most likely has another fatal push or something, so I think I I, I think we cooking. Well, when I say I think we're cooking, yeah, it means that he's definitely cooking us. On high key, high heat flames. Well, couldn't drop anything. Jeez. But everything at least is in balance. So this I wonder was was this in the yeah, this is definitely probably a ninja deck. I thought he's playing artifacts at the start. But that would be strange artifacts because, because that's typically either mono or white. Because of the three cost artifact enchantment that gives plus two two to everything, which is by the way seriously good. That card, that card with top tips can well, it, it just wins games, okay? It just wins games. Fenris. Acceptable avatar. Let's see what we have here. Okay, this is fine. 
this is fine. Bam. White. Okay. Do I prosperous innkeeper here? No. I just do the land of water elf. I don't think this is going to make too much of a difference. I can still this. Uh, I can still uh, symbiose. Yeah, I had a feeling it's going to be enchantments, honestly. Okay, so I think I need to do this because I need that reservoir up at this point. We have a bow strider, we have another land, and we have a bastion plus innkeeper. Depending on what he does. We could win. Okay, that's kind of good for him, but that's a little bit too slow. Exile all, all graveyards. Not the biggest problem. Not the biggest problem. Okay, how do I play this? I don't have a black land, so I guess there's nothing to play at this point. This is literally free real estate. Uh, yeah, I need one more black land, so this is... Sus and annoying as one might say uh, No Everything getting wait everything getting exiled means that we can actually brick by the wait 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 Exile if a card if, if a card or token would be put in the graveyard anywhere except Does this Mean bastion of remembrance doesn't do damage. I actually don't know I really don't actually know this. In any case, we're kind of missing a lot of things at this point, so... Ah! Oh. That does sol solve some thought problems. Uh, do I even do anything here? I can't play that. Okay, sack the elf. I guess sack the elf. Blood artist, nope. That is not gonna cut it. And now just Witch Claw Talisman and hope for the best, honestly, right? So what do we need to get here? Well, well what's the biggest chance? Mmm, if he only had one more black land, we could actually like kinda go for a yellow play here. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure our best chance is this. Okay? Our best chance is probably that. It is gonna be very... Next turn... Dude, he's gonna pop off so hard this turn. I don't know how good this, this is gonna be. Maybe good. Maybe bad. Pretty deep, if you ask me. Oh, damn it. I actually forgot to take my uh, good shirt. Okay, listen. What is this? Gideon's Invitation? Intervention? Choose card characters to get chosen. Wait, what? What do you think he's gonna choose? <laughs> uh, is it gonna be Eater Flux Reservoir? Pan Panharmonican? Oh, he chose it random. No, wait, that's a little bit too... Butler Monica doesn't even deal damage. It triggers things to deal damage more. Okay, okay, listen. Oh man, dude. Can I even survive this? He hits me with that, he has... No, he's gonna play one more. I don't think we survive, boy. Oh, no, this is bad. Is there a world where we, where we live it? Well, maybe we get a, you know. Do I sack the halfling? Oh, I definitely sack the halfling at this point. I need to YOLO as hard as possible. And I need to flux reservoir, it's not gonna cut it. I need my black land, okay? Listen. Black land, come on. Untapped black land, and we can do it. We, we can be the hero that we always wanted to be. Come on. Pain? Pain? Yeah, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. There's nothing I can do here. I can play this technically, but probably not enough. Ugh. Oh. 
Does this give us a chance to survive at least? Ah, uh, probably not. But now I can actually at least test to see if this deals damage. Or oh, does the exile uh, effect actually prevent all the damage because it gets exiled and it doesn't die? Well, who knows? Oh, wait, he has five? The hell? I thought he has less. Wait, where did he get five? Well, in any case, let's test. It instantaneously... Oh, yeah, the Bastion doesn't deal damage. Oof. So that means I can't even get life from uh, the Blood Artist. Oh, man, we got cooked pretty hot here. He didn't even use the Witch Claw. By the way, the more time passes, the better the Witch Claw Talisman actually becomes. Especially when you're playing something like this. Well, where you're just memeing up to victory. Or, well, in this case. Man, that was... That was... Pretty harsh. But that's fine, that's fine. Okay? Easy thing... All easy things in life are not worth it. Except love, you know? or And a lot of other things, honestly. But that's fine. Okay, Witch Claw Talisman, three Blacklands, boys, is this, uh, is this Cooking City? I think it is. Okay, start off with this, Giga Chad. Two mana, turn one. Whew. It's pretty good. Oh, that is, that is also pretty good. That is actually kind of one of the best outcomes, in fact. Okay, do that, drop that, Talisman. Bastion. Another counterspell player. Wait, is is this real? Is this another counterspell -y boy? Huh, it is, isn't it? Okay, in that case, I mean, let's uh, let's just hit him baby one more time. If he wants to play counterspells, fine by me. Why is he looking at the lane? Oh, he wants to sag the field of ruin. No. I actually need Oh, he does nothing. Well, choices were definitely made there. Okay, okay, let's see if he counterspells the Bastion of Remembrance. Is that gonna be the play? No! Interesting. Uh, pay life. I can actually do it like this. Okay. Okay, we, we we don't have the uh, the biggest amount of HP to work with, but again, this doesn't even show you what you uh, what you choose, so it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. The one ring. You know what? That's actually not bad. If he, what are the chances that our boy actually plays stuff in MacGuffins here? Oh, that's definitely a play. Okay. Uh. Do this, it's fine, and let's go. Hmm. Okay, he does that. He can't he 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 can't stop us. Oh boys, he can't stop us at this. Ooh! That's really wait he... He's gonna pick Negate. At least that would be smart in his situation. But no, which plot talisman again doesn't actually cut it. Okay. Two ma oh three man he can counterspell anything. Well, ain't that something? Uh anyway. I don't need this draw, so I might as well just do it like that. Uh I definitely don't actually want to deal with that one, so yeah, let's do it like this. He's gonna lose HP now. I think we win. Even though it's gonna be slightly annoying. Play this as that. It's fine. Again, we are gaining some... We are gaining some HP because of this. So, you know, technically we have like four more casts until we run out of uh, sauce. Though a two cost, is it actually worth for me to try and deal with that i'm not 100 percent sure okay let's see let's see another one. Ah, oh, okay okay geez oh 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 that's a good free booter that that makes things free i like it 
Oh, he gets lost. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, the Freebooter is nice, but honestly, I can't do anything with the Freebooter. Hmm. But then again, this is a victory. Unless we draw our one basic land. In which case, annoying. Because, you know, reasons. Okay, so do this. Uh, do this. Bam. Another one. Look at look at the life, boys. Look at the life just flow. Oh, we haven't played even a land. Oh, this is perfection. This is absolute. And he concedes. Nice. Okay, okay. Onward we go. What a time to be alive. That was good. Man, we almost lost. I want wait, may, maybe because every time we're playing and someone is getting land stopped, he's playing control. Man, Wizards really hates counter spells, don't they? Well, in the last like two two expansions, they have done pretty much everything in their power to legitimately uh, nerf counter spells as hard as humanly possible. So I guess it is what it is. Ether Flux Reservoir, Tangled for Hedron, blah blah blah, this, that. Lurus of the Dream, then, eh? Interesting. I can probably make this work. It's gonna be slightly. Ooh. Ooh. What is what, what is this gonna be? Uh, another one of those special situations? Yeah, on purple. Changeling Outcast. How how quaint. How absolutely pizzazz. Well, it is what it is. Changeling Outcast, everyone. Hmm. Oh, another ninjutsu! Wow! The ninjas truly yearn for the mines, it seems like, because someone needs to send them there. Well, honestly, the children yearn for the mines, but, you know, that's, that's a different story. Okay, so... I have a feeling we're not winning for some reason. So, playing one land is roughly the equivalent in Wizard's eyes as playing ninja. <laughs> That is just too good. Uh, where have we seen that already, by the way? It's the exact same, by the way, opening as the last dude. That is insane. So, wait, is this the same dude even? I, I will have to check the recording. Is this the same dude? Is there a, is there a world where that is the same dude, though? I don't know. I absolutely don't know, but it kind of looks like it. It kind of feels like it. In any case, are we dead? We play either Flux Reservoir draw, uh, block with a Halfling. I mean, even if we block here right now, it doesn't make a difference. Plus, he's probably gonna ninjutsu something. I wonder if it's gonna be another brat, he says to himself. And what is then he's gonna just ninjutsu that one again? Shh. Dude, at this point, you might as well honestly just play stuff, but that's okay. No, this is not the same, dude, because it's a different avatar. So, okay. On the tier of uh, having deficiencies, ninjas seem, uh, by wizard standards seem to be really high. Uh, in any case, good game. He wins. There's nothing I can do. Evil over... Yeah, this is not the same, dude. This is not the same, dude. Well, in any case, ninjas spanked me. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.